with day four of the Nathaniel Rowland trial in Richland County. He is the man accused of kidnapping and killing USC student Samantha Josephson. News 19's Kaylin Hagwood was in court for today's testimony and she is joining us now with those details. Kaylin. It was another emotional day of testimony in the Nathaniel Rowland trial as several SLED agents testified about their findings in the investigation. One of the agents showed photos of Samantha Josephson's body, which investigators say had multiple stab wounds. They also showed her bloody clothing, leading some of her family to look away or become emotional if they hadn't already stepped out of the courtroom. Also testifying today, another SLED agent who said she found bloody duct tape, sheets and clothes in the trash at the home of a woman Roland was dating and visited after Josephson went missing. And an agent who said a document with handwriting that likely matched Roland's had a list of questions questionable items. Next line is duct tape, tape whole body. Next line is gloves. Next line is all black. Next line is flip phone. Next line is gasoline. Next line is matches. And then there's a crossed out line below the uh, matches line. As far as the results go, what did you determine? My determination was that it's probable that the writer of the known documents wrote, also wrote the question document. Probable means a high degree of likelihood that they were written all by the same writer, both question and known. The prosecution has also been working to create a timeline of the night Josephson went missing through cell phone data. You can watch the trial on our website, WLTX.com. Reporting at the Richland County Judicial Center, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX.